lighting, ketchup, ketchup. That's about as good as it's gonna get. Anyway, today is Wednesday and I'm going into work a little bit later today because fortunately, um, well not fortunate that the world is the way it is right now, but fortunately, in spite of everything, I thought I was gonna have to be, excuse me, be home without pay. Thankfully, I am able to work from home. Hallelujah, praise God. So yes, we are going in to work later today because we're getting training on how to use the at-home system and stuff like that. I have a cold, you guys, so bear with me. It's, yeah, so I get to work from home today. I wanted to show you guys this. I've always heard about darker water. My face is so dry, I'm gonna have to put lotion on. Anyway, I've always heard about darker water and water that almost looks black or whatever, but I've never actually seen it. And Shine actually got some. This is water, you guys. Alkaline pH 8.0 water. Yeah, and when I seen this, I actually thought she poured, you know, soda or something into the bottle. She's like, no, mom, it's water. Taste it. So I was so afraid to taste it. My mind wouldn't let me comprehend that this is water. So I tasted it, and it actually just tastes like water. But I don't think I can actually drink a whole one or whatever because, I don't know, water's supposed to be clear, not black. All right, so I do have... The Cetaphil um, body and face lotion. I can't use regular lotion on my face because I will break out. But my skin has been dry lately because I've been blowing my nose a lot because of a cold. And yeah, I just filmed like this little video, my little spiel. You guys will probably already have seen this video, that video before you see this. I just filmed it today, so that's the reason why I'm in the same clothes and I look pretty much the same. So, anyway, I'm actually going to leave a little bit early before work because I'm going to try to go to Walmart to see if I can find toilet paper because the eight rolls that um, a friend from church gave me, that's not going to last forever, especially if we had to be quarantined. I just want to be able to have enough for us. I don't want, don't want to buy... 10 and 12 containers. I just want to wipe my butt. That's it, you guys. That's all. Sorry, getting riled up again, but it just frustrates me beyond it. So anyway, let's go to Walmart and see if we can find anything. So I went to Walmart and couldn't find anything there. So now I'm at Winco and Winco actually has a line outside to get in, which is, I think is totally fine the way the world is acting now, but I just don't have time to stand in it. But I did go to Dollar Tree next door and I found paper napkins. So that's a good thing, at least we can have napkins. So I only got two, which I'm not being greedy. So yeah, you guys, so after work, um, I am going to come to Walmart, not Walmart, I'm gonna come back to Winco and hopefully the line is not that long then and it won't take me very long to get in. I don't know, we'll see, but I do need to buy things um, from Winco. And from what I heard, Winco has toilet paper right now, but I just can't stand in line at the moment to do it because I have to go to work. So um, we'll try again after work. See, that's the line right there. And I don't have time to stand in it, but it's okay. We'll come back. I'm in Winco. It's actually not that bad. They're not letting a whole lot of people in at once, but there is no toilet paper. Okay, so kind of successful trip at Winco. Um, I didn't get the main thing that I wanted, but I did get some food. Um, rice is completely gone. The noodles are completely gone. The pasta is completely gone. So yeah, and then, then there's signs everywhere is saying that when everything is done, they will not be accepting returns or refunds, all sales are final. So all you people who are um, buying in bulk, you're stuck with it. That's what you get. So Savannah cooked dinner tonight. She made steak, cilantro lime rice. We have corn for our vegetables and mac and cheese. And then she gave me the steak sauce. Thank you, Savannah. Good morning. It is Thursday. And I get to dress down, of course, because of this training that they're doing at work. So I found a little bit more about um, them sending us home. So with my work, um, this is 
plan B, plan A, they said, they just threw out the window. Anyway, so plan B, the workers, we are still going to be there. There's not even 250 workers and wherever we sit, it's not really in close proximity to each other anyway. So, you know, we can still be there working for now. Plan C would be all of us go home and work remote from home. And the boss did say that um, they're not going to penalize anyone who is like just completely afraid to be there. They can work from home. So, yeah, we'll see you guys. Um, we'll see if I'm going to be home or if I'm going to be at work. I don't know. We'll see. That's the update on that. And as far as my church goes, we were still having church and Bible study. However, for those of you who don't know, my church is not huge, and I don't really show my church a lot in vlogs, have in the past. But right now, since we don't have our own church building, we're having church out of a hotel, one of the hotel ballroom, conference rooms, whatever you want to call it. So the hotel actually called my pastor and said that they are closing all of the um, rooms that's like that for now. So we won't be able to have church. And... Yeah, I'm sad and I totally get it. I understand. But you guys, I love church. I love going to church. I love praising God. I love hearing the music. I love hearing the preaching, you know, and I just love going to church. But I totally get it. I understand. And because of that, um, the pastor, I, I guess I didn't talk to the pastor's wife, but she sent all of the ladies a text and was saying that, you know, church is temporarily canceled for now and then for now we're not going to meet in each other's homes so that's probably a good idea I mean I'm not afraid you know I was looking forward to having them come to my house tonight and you know stuff like that I'm not afraid that they're going to bring anything and I'm going to catch it but I get it I totally get it so anyway that's the update on that so yeah um gonna be plenty bored there's going to be a lot of stuff to do, though. Oh, you guys, I didn't tell you guys last night or when it actually happened. But remember, you guys, I told you I was researching a new career and trying to find out everything about it before I dive in and do it. Well, I kind of, sort of, I did um, sign papers and everything. So I am starting my process of my new career and i will let you guys know a little bit later what it is some of you guys already know because you guys are smart cookies but i'm just keeping it to myself right now but yeah um i started actually doing some of the online stuff last night and it's pretty interesting i will say so i'm excited where this new opportunity is going to take me and yeah we will see it unfold as the time comes and this is a perfect time to do it when we're when we have to stay in then I can focus on that get it done and then be what I'm going to be in addition to what I am now so I have my laptop in here in my Walt Disney World backpack not backpack but bag it is super cold out here you guys like freezing and when I tell you the temperature, some of you guys are going to be like, that's not cold. It's 51 degrees. For California, it's cold. But I do have leggings on underneath my skirt, but it's still cold, you guys. All right, so I'm going to go to McDonald's and get me some coffee and then head to work. Good morning, everyone. It is Friday. And I know I didn't vlog anymore yesterday. That's because I was doing my online classes. I'm so excited about that. Um, but I am making coffee at home today in my Wonder Woman mug and I'm using white chocolate mocha No, my white chocolate macadamia creamer So I could go get coffee at McDonald's because the drive-thru is still open but And it's not that I'm scared of anyone of getting it from anyone there Sacramento had just been issued a stay-at-home order and what that is, is they're not saying we can't go out. They're saying only go out for essential needs. So me getting coffee from McDonald's is not essential. I can make it at home. I have it at home. So basically what they're saying is if you're caring for someone who needs food or if you need to go out to get food. See, that's what I'm saying. All these people are panicking, thinking, oh, we have to stay indoors. And yes, it may eventually get to that where they say, don't even open your front door. 
it may get to that. The way they're trying to contain it is, you know, having people not go out just for random stuff. Only go out when you need stuff. Hold on. I have you guys on like a lid and it just keeps like, I don't know, it's just being weird. So anyway, um, that came into effect as of midnight. They're saying you can face a misdemeanor fine or up to $1,000 or be put in jail or both. So, so basically, they're, like I said, they're not saying that you can't go anywhere. Just be smart, you know. Um, a lot of places are closing, like the malls, unnecessary stores. Like right now, shoes. You really don't need to go out and buy shoes. So places like that are closing, which I think is smart. I'm just looking at the thing here. They're saying, and I'm, gonna, I'm not going to read everything, but engaging in activities or performing or perform tasks essential to health and safety or to the health and safety of other family or household members such as obtaining medical supplies meaning you can go to get that or medication visiting a healthcare professional like going to the doctor or dentist um, or obtaining supplies they need to work from home obtaining necessary services or supplies for themselves and for their family or household members or to deliver those services or supplies to others such as food and other grocery and cleaning products so stores are still open now they may be open only a certain amount of time and letting only a certain amount of people in but that depends on the store so as far as engaging in outdoor activity providing the individual comply with social distancing so you can go outside like walking taking your dog for a walk hiking biking but you know just if you see a lot of people at the park which right now there shouldn't be keep at least six feet away from them so you can do your running and all your outdoor exercise and stuff like that just you know do your best to practice social distancing so if you're performing work to provide essential products and services essential okay um Care for household member. Okay, so attended private gatherings of not more than six non relatives in a home or place of residence. Social distancing should be practiced at all times at such gatherings. So, yeah, um, they're saying in Sacramento, 45 confirmed cases have been from uh, you know what. So, yeah, you guys just be safe and be smart and don't be stupid and I'm gonna drink my coffee. I'm gonna get better lighting. I don't have all my lights on in here and it's kind of dim because it hasn't been raining for the last few days. Because of all this that's going on, I'm thankful to have friends like Melissa. My friend Melissa, she is going to be giving me some toilet paper today. You know what? I never thought I would be so happy to have toilet paper. This better? Yeah, that's better, okay. I would never thought I would be so happy to have toilet paper. I'm so excited, I'm so ecstatic, because even though I did get some on Sunday, I know that won't last long. There's three women in the house, I mean, come on, let's be honest. And yeah, so with what she's going to give me, and I did offer to pay for it, and she was like, I'm not charging you for toilet paper. I would have paid for it, girl, I really would have, you know that. So anyway, um, yeah, after work today, I'm going to go pick up the toilet paper from her which I'm thankful and you know what you guys I'm not going to mention it again until I actually need some or we're running low on that so yeah I'm happy with what I have I don't need to hoard and yeah that's it about that so I'm totally happy hey everyone so I am home from work and thanks to Melissa thank you so much girl we now have probably enough toilet paper to last Hopefully until this thing blows over, I hope. But I'm happy, so you guys won't hear me say anything about toilet paper until I actually need some, if it hasn't blown over by then. But yeah, thank you guys so much. Um, thank you, Melissa, so much. And yes, we did practice social distancing, and it was kind of hard, but hey, we gotta keep each other safe. Even though I know they don't have anything, and I'm sure they know we don't have anything, it's just to keep everyone safe so um we did that and yeah so i'm home now and shine and savannah are actually going to the store because shine needed some personal items so i told them you know we can go out to get the necessary things so it hasn't been enforced yet to absolutely don't go anywhere oh so they're gonna do that and hurry up and get back home and it's just Boston and I. He is actually outside right now. Um, 
and I'm gonna bring them in in a little bit but for now I am watching the circle Brazil so it's all in Spanish and I have to read it so that's why I'm pausing it um, it's pretty interesting it's the game it's a game show where everyone lives in apartments and it's like a social experiment and you don't know who each other is if people are catfish stuff like that so that's what I'm watching now and yeah I'm probably gonna do a little bit more of my um, online schooling um, a little bit later or maybe I'll just do it tomorrow I don't know I'm not sure but right now I'm just relaxing I'm trying to let the stress of the day just because the day was very stressful and I don't even want to get into it so we're not even gonna talk about it anyway I'm home now I'm here and I'm relaxing good morning everyone it is Saturday and I'm about to make breakfast um, it's early just probably gonna have eggs and bacon and maybe pancakes I don't know we'll see um, decided to get up and get at least a little bit presentable I don't plan on going anywhere today social distancing even if this wasn't going any going on I wouldn't plan on going anywhere today today I'm going to um, be just here lounging around the house the house is completely cleaned Cheyenne because she works at a dental office she was actually off yesterday because dental offices right now are they have to be closed but they have to be open for emergencies so she goes in um, part-time now which sucks but it is what it is so why did I say that oh anyway she was home yesterday so she did the cleaning that I was going to do today so the house is completely cleaned and what else oh I'm gonna spend the day of course lounging <laughs> um, in my favorite spot look you guys I had a pimple or something and it totally yeah it, so just ignore that so maybe I'll just do this Oh, I started watching a show on Netflix nope I started watching a show on Hulu called Little Fires Everywhere and it's actually really good Reese Witherspoon and then the black lady that played in um there was a movie on Netflix where she was the mother of a son that went missing I can't think of the name of the movie and yeah anyway so they're playing in there they're like the main two characters and then their kids and stuff like that but it's really good if you guys have Hulu check out little fires everywhere you guys may like it I don't know um, and then oh um, continue on with my online education because I can't do that I have started it so might as well take advantage of this time that we have to stay the house so okay let me make some breakfast because I'm getting kind of hungry oh the movie that I was trying to think of on Netflix with the black lady in it I cannot think of her name to save my life I know I could search it up but it's called American Son so the one who played the mom in there is one of the main characters in um, little fires everywhere so go check it out it's actually really really good I was going to go ahead and get started on my online um, work that I have but um, I just realized when I went to go get my laptop I didn't charge it last night so I mean I know I can work while it's charging but I like to I'm just gonna let it fully charge and then I will start so until then I'm watching continuing watching little fires everywhere there's only three episodes right now that are on Hulu and yeah oh my goodness you guys I do not know what's happening look at this I am breaking out what is going on okay I need to stop touching my face number one and number two I need to go cleanse my face because you guys I don't get very many breakouts and when I do I panic but then I should leave it alone but it's all red because I've been messing with it so for dinner tonight we are actually going to have I love my dining room you guys I'm so sorry I just I'm still absolutely in love with it it's still my favorite room in the house right now until I do other things but anyway um what was I saying I'm getting sidetracked again squirrel but anyway I just washed my face I want to work on not touching it and once everything sets in the only thing I use for my face is sea breeze and good old soap and water not actual soap but like face soap and then um, I use face lotion because I think I told you guys I can't use just regular lotion on my face anyway what am I saying 
What was I coming in the kitchen for? Oh, for dinner I'm making lemon pepper wings and I don't know, so I'm trying to find something. It's still early, you guys. It's not even noon yet, but I'm just trying to find something for dinner because I'm gonna be in the house. So I know a lot of my vlogs lately have been in the house. <laughs> and it's funny because now that I can go out, I mean, now that we can't go out, I wanna go out somewhere, but I know that's just because when someone tells you you can't, you wanna do it, I don't know. But anyway, so you guys may be getting a whole lot more vlogs. But my face getting really dry. Let me go use the lotion. Let me take out the chicken for the lemon pepper wings tonight. And I think my laptop should be fully charged, so I'm going to start on my work. And yeah. I actually called my neighbor the older lady who we watch her house when she goes on vacation um, just to see how she was doing and making sure she had everything she needed and making sure she had toilet paper and she said she's good for now and I actually started to go over there normally I would have but something stopped me and I'm glad I thought about it I'm like wait no social distancing and even though I may be healthy and we may be healthy and we don't have you know what um, we could be carriers of it and give it to someone who isn't as healthy and by her being older She's in her 70s. I think late 70s. I don't want to jeopardize her health or anything like that because you never know So just being cautious and careful and she was so thankful that we checked on her and so happy that you know We were concerned. So I told her I said if you need anything Let me know throw it over the fence <laughs> or whatever because we share the the backyard now we don't share a backyard but she's next door to me so if she needed something I can just you know hand it to her like that that way we're not in each other's breathing space or anything like that so yeah you guys it's just gonna be a whole lot of me talking to you guys for the next I don't know until this is over so yeah we're gonna become really good friends all right you guys so Heather is still alive you guys yeah so I just watered her <laughs> Actually, before my timer went off, because I have to, not a timer, but I set my alarm on my phone every, why is it not spraying right? I set the alarm on my phone every Saturday at noon so I can remember to water my plants. Well, plant now because the one that I named Fred the succulent, May he rest in peace. Or should I say pieces because each petal started falling off slowly. So anyway, as you can see, I mean, she's not in the best of condition, but she's not dead yet, y'all. And this right here is giving me hope. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, but that looks like it's fairly new. So something I'm doing or starting to do is right. I've started actually spraying the leaves and I was actually told that I didn't have to, but I seen it on a video on YouTube and I really don't care if it gets all of my counter, it's just water, so I'll just clean it up. So I seen it on someone's video that they did this to their fern and I'm like, let me do it too. And ever since I started doing this, you guys, it's not as dry. And I'm thinking maybe I need to water her more than once a week. So I've been doing it twice a week. Well, this is the first time I've done it. This is the first week that I've done that. So we'll see if she starts drooping and dying, then I know I need to change it back to my one time a week. Come on, girl, you gotta perk up or something. If you wonder why I call my plant a she and Heather, my best friend Tracy actually named her and it's because Tracy has a, she has a super green thumb when it comes to plants and I was getting all kinds of advice from her about how to care for this fern and whatever and she said you need to talk to it, give it a name. She said I think it's Heather. I thought it was kind of silly but her name's Heather so yeah. Already done. I told you guys I have to set my <laughs> alarm every Saturday. That way I can remember to water my plants. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys this, my new phone case. Um, it's a Kate Spade phone case and I decided to use this one. Hey you guys, that's my new phone case temporarily. And, and I say temporarily because I always go through the phase to where, huh, I think it's time for a new phone case. So 
when I'm tired of this, I will get something else. So I'm in my dining room and I have everything started. I have unhealthy cookies and I have some milk. So we're having a marathon of the movie It. We're starting out with the original one, and then we're gonna watch the newer ones, huh, Savannah? This is what we're doing on day whatever of self-quarantine. Day two? I think it's more than day two. No, it wasn't official until- Oh yeah, that's right. It wasn't official until Thursday. So, yeah. Y'all, this movie is three hours and seven minutes long. I remember watching this as a kid, but I don't remember my mom letting me see it because she was really strict on what I watched, which was a good thing. But I don't remember how I seen it, but I know my fear of clowns came from this movie. So I thought we were almost done. We still have half of the movie left. We're only at an hour and 36 minutes. We're gonna be here all night. That's the point. That's the point, yeah, because we're having a marathon, so, yeah. But I thought at least we were almost done with this one. So I know I said I was gonna cook tonight, but I got lazy and I got tired. So we just ordered from, what's this place, Sushi Mono. And DoorDash has this thing now where um, if you don't wanna make contact with people, they will leave it on your porch or chair or something like that. I just had her give it to me. So anyway, I think this is the, Spicy 911, I could be wrong. And then this is just other stuff that we got. So I can't remember the names of anything, but we absolutely love this right here because it has avocado, it's a jalapeno and stuff like that. So we are going to eat. There is so good, you guys. And all of them, a lot of stuff is a la carte, whatever. That's why I don't remember the names of everything. But something that we got that has mozzarella and crab and tempura whatever on it it's really really good it's over rice it's really good so anyway we are trying to watch um the next it well not the next one the newer version one because the one that we watched was a one that i seen when i was a kid and that what made me afraid of clowns and savannah's like that's not really scary mom i'm like you gotta understand in my day and age when i was younger that was scary yeah so we are actually using our chopsticks. Do you guys know how to use chopsticks? Chopsticks? I feel like everyone knows how to use chopsticks now. No? 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 Oh, I guess not. Um, when I was younger, because of course I wasn't raised eating, you know, with chopsticks or anything like that. I taught myself how to use it, and then yeah. But I, I, but I. You learned from Disney Channel? Well, I used to get it. Yeah, I used to get it for you guys when you guys were younger, and I would tell you guys how to use it. You don't remember that, do you? Well, anyway, we're self-taught chopstick users, but we love using chopsticks. 